Well, weavers, innovation and inventions have created wonders and have revolutionized the world. Technology is an integral part of human lives and is known to make people's lives easier. A young boy from northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh has created one such technology, goggles which will make moving around for the visually impaired a lot easier. Let's take a look. Meet Anand Dadar, a 20-year-old mechatronics innovator from Arunachal Pradesh. Dadar has developed a special kind of goggles which use echolocation technology to help the visually impaired move around freely. Echolocation is also what is used by bats and dolphins for navigation. His brilliant innovation has been making headlines across the country and has won many accolades. Dada's love for technology and his out-of-the-box thinking led to the bird of cockle for blind. Every time a visually impaired person will come too close to an obstacle, the device will send a warning signal to the user. As far as my memory can take me, I, can, I remember myself playing with uh, electronic toys and trying to, try, like, curious about them and trying to explore how they work. So the invention I made was, uh, it was it, the name is called G4B, uh, Google for Blind. So actually I wanted to help the blind people. Uh, it's like I can't give, give them uh, eyes, but vir uh, virtually I can make machines which, which can help them navigate in their surrounding. Because uh, these days, like there are lots of signboard, electrical posts in this developing world. And it's, it's very difficult for the blind people to navigate around. Dadar's invention was achieved one of the most innovative in the recently concluded Regional Level Science Festival held at the Regional Science Center, Guwahati. Actually, uh, what it does is like it detects the ob obstacles within a range. So if the obstacle is on the right, then there will be feedback on the right side of the uh, wearer. And if the obstacle is on the left, there will be feedback on the left side of the wearer. So also like based upon the distance, the intensity of like feedback will be increased or decreased. So the blind people can even know how far the obstacles is. If it, uh, like it's on the right or it's on the left and how far it is, the obstacles. Dadar's G4B was also loaded at the National Level Science Exhibition held earlier this month at Rastrabadi Pawan in New Delhi. Reportedly, the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund has asked Dadar to develop a few more prototypes of the product, which is quite bulky right now. Basically, the initial initial prototype it went around it cost around uh, fifteen thousand. So, like I have to test with different different microprocessors and different different sensors, and some even like they dies or fries up during the test. So, initially, the cost is around 15,000, 15, but if it's, in, uh, if it's launched in the market, I think it will cost around 1,000. So like every, every blind people can easily afford it. Dutters, who hails from a family of modest means, remains committed to his dreams. He uses his pocket money for building his projects. Dutters' exceptional talent has also been noticed by the state government. Chief Minister Bema Kantu has assured full financial support to Dadar to fine-tune his innovation and produce it on a large scale. Such novelty will set a benchmark in the world of technology and in the long run will inspire the youth to develop bad breaking technologies.